Hey, this is Daniel Norton here in my studio in New York City, and today we're going to talk about shooting with kind of organic feeling light. So I have my friend Sharina coming. You guys have seen her a bunch of the videos. We do a lot of headshots, a lot of commercial type stuff, but I thought I'd do something with a little bit more of a raw feel. So I'm thinking, you know, that it's getting towards the time of year we're shooting outside where people are gonna use a lot of kind of natural light, bounce light, and that tends to create a, a look that's a little bit more kind of, well, natural, but also more raw, right? Less perfect. And I think that a lot of times, especially with portable strobes, battery powered, powerful that we have, TTO, high speed sync, people are going outside and they're shooting these shots that really, they might as well just be in the studio. So what we're gonna do is create something that has kind of, it's a studio shot clearly, but it's gonna have a vibe, like kind of a natural vibe, a raw vibe, something you might shoot with available light, but that's more controlled, of course, so we can do it whenever we want. I'm gonna use some simple equipment. We're gonna use a, a Profoto B10 kit. I'm gonna use some B-flats from B-flat World and a reflector from Matthews. And we're gonna create kind of a, a, an image that's clean, but has kind of an organic vibe. So for here, I'm just gonna keep it simple, right? I'm using two Profoto B10s. Now I'm using them partially because I need around the 500 watt seconds of power. I'm knowing I'm gonna need that. But the reason why I'm not using, let's say my B1X for this is because having two lights will allow me to kind of spread the light out more. And to get it to feel more organic, look more organic, uh, having that spread is gonna be beneficial. So I'm using two lights, 250 watt seconds a piece. They're simply bouncing off the white walls slash roof. And for a manner of control, I'm using the V-flats. So I've got two V-flats from V-flat world. I'm gonna bring them in nice and tight with the black sides towards my subject to give me some contrast so it doesn't just rip around and be overexposed. And then for a reflector, I'm gonna use this Matthews reflector. I really like it. It's nice because it's solid, right? It doesn't, it doesn't flop around like a fold-up reflector. If you didn't have something like this, you know, a foam core board, like a, a Brooklyn reflector, as we say, uh, would also work. But what's nice about this is it's consistent, right? When you use professional gear, you'll always get the same result. So if you are looking to do this kind of photography, sometimes it's worthwhile to invest in certain pieces of gear so you know that every single time somebody comes to the studio, you can always get that same repeatable result. Okay, so I got Sharina here. Looking good. Actually, this came out of my mother's closet. <laughs> or my mother's closet. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, so we're gonna do something really simple with bounce light. It, the weather is nice. Uh, you know, being outside, people often ask me about using uh, available light. So we're not using available light, nor are we outside. But <laughs> the technique we're gonna use here kind of is the same idea, right? We're gonna bounce light. We're gonna go from an area that has a lot of really bright light which in this case is gonna be a white wall, and we're gonna then use a reflector to kick the light back in to kind of shape our subject. But to make it a little bit more interesting, a little more fun, um, I decided to keep this a little bit raw, right? There are a lot of things we could do. We could light the wall separately, then light Sharita up and whatever, but by using like kind of a, what is a single light source, it creates this kind of more organic and raw type light. So in order to control our light, we're gonna use V-flats and a reflector. Um, you can see though, I wanted to show you first though, I've got two Profoto B10s there, Notice how they are pointed. They're not pointed directly back at the wall, and that's because I'm thinking about how light operates, right? If I look at the angle of my lights, they're going to bounce up here, and then they're gonna come back down and bounce kind of off the floor and back up, and also they're gonna hit my reflector, which is gonna be here. If I point them, put them straight this way, what would happen is much more light would hit from the back. We're gonna get blown out anyways, right? But it'd be way, way too much. This is gonna give us a little bit of blown out, plus some nice light coming from the front once we add the reflector. And I added the black cards just to add a tiny bit of contrast. This isn't to block light so much. We blocks it a little bit, but it's really for that contrast on the sides so we don't get too much of a blowout on the side of our hair. So I'm gonna set this all up. I'll have Sharina step out and let's do this. <laughs> all right, so I just, the trick here is going to be to make it as narrow as possible without really being in the shot. So I find that generally if we make it about, you know, I'm gonna stick our hands out like this, but if you know, something like this wide, we're probably pretty good. That works for most people. She's gonna sit more or less in the center of this. And I'm just gonna make sure that my stands and stuff are not gonna be in the shot. So I'll move about a tiny bit. I'm gonna start off, again, you could do this a lot of different ways. You could put it on TTL, whatever, but I'm just gonna start off at full power and we'll just see what happens. All right, Sharina, I'm ready for you. This is the moment of truth. Okay. 
So she's gonna kind of just be in here, right? Perfect. Now, okay, so I have everything just set at full power. Um, there's two lights back there. Let's just see what we're gonna get. I can already see that I see my stands in the shot a little bit, but I will make an adjustment in a second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You are coming out of the world of light. And like before, when we've, when we've done stuff like this, we can see that there is a lot of light kicking back. It's actually too much light. And we can see it's almost giving a wash, like a bit of a, um, a bit of a flare, if you will, on the, on the camera. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna have you step backwards a bit, right? You're probably saying, well, she's getting close to the light. That's true, but I want more black in front of her. And I'm actually gonna tip these cards in. Like this. Like this. All right, we're just creating a little bit of contrast here. Good. Okay, nice. That worked out well. And then what we're gonna do is work on our power. Because I don't want, she's actually properly exposed in the front, but I actually don't want that. I want it to be a little bit dark because we're gonna use a, um, a reflector. So I'm gonna drop the, the both lights down one stop. Take another shot. There we go. That's much more manageable. And again, she's underexposed, but we're gonna adjust with that in a second. So, a couple quick things. I'm gonna move the stand in the back. You know, it's important to look at this stuff as you're going, guys, because, of course, that's like two seconds in Photoshop, right? But it's two seconds on every image, and I can just fix it now, and I don't have to worry about it. So we're going to look at our set before we get into it. I think power-wise, we're good. By the way, I'm at like about 35 millimeter. Good. All right, yes, this has given us the feel I want. I'm mostly looking at the contrast here. Now what we want to do is actually light her up and, and make her kind of really pop, give the light her face up, that's what we want to do. Her body is going to look great because she goes to the, goes to the gym. No, she's, her body's going to look great because, because it's all white and she's wearing black, right? So we're basically creating a silhouette, but we want light on her face. We don't want it to be dull. So I'm going to use this right here, which is a reflector board from Matthews, there's a lot of ways, a lot of reflectors you can get in life. In life, there's a lot of reflectors. There's a lot of reflectors. Right? Um, but what's nice about this one is it's solid and easily mounted on a C-stand. You could use a, a Brooklyn reflector, you could use a fold-up reflector, whatever you've got, it really works. Uh, I'm putting it more or less flat. Can you see the wall kind of reflected in this a little bit? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, that is good then. Okay, I'm gonna come in like this. There we go. There we go. Now, notice the difference here, guys. Right? See how flat the skin is versus the skin, which has that nice specularity to it. Right, also I came up a little bit because I don't want to shoot up at her too much. Um, even though I know that people in that book, that book that everybody bought in 1975 about posing talks about going low so people look taller. That, that's only a little bit. You don't want to be too low on people. Yes. Sharina's actually about nine feet tall. We just don't really know. All right, so this looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to bring the power of my lights up just a smidge. Two tenths. I'm gonna get my position here. We'll do one more test shot and then we'll shoot a few. Yeah, there we go. Nice and simple. Yeah, she looks great as always. You get that sparkle in the outfit. We can see the outline of her body, so that's gonna be nice, right? It's not ripping past too much, so we're not getting too much flare from the background. Only really in her hair, which is, you know, like a lighter brown color, we're getting a little bit of edges, but that's fine. It's part of the style. All right, let's shift you. I'm at about 50 millimeters here, guys. And I'm just simply working my way through a few different poses. Nice and simple. Good, there. easy, easy, easy. Nice, chin down a smidge, there we go, right there. Good, one more. I don't have the beep turned on on my lights, so hopefully I'm not shooting too fast, because you know. No, nope, they're keeping up, that's good. I do have the lights almost at full power, so. I'm gonna come in just for, I'll do one more. I'm gonna do a couple, one more, one more uh, set of, what we're doing three quarters, and then I'm gonna come in and do a couple headshots. 
So what I like to do with this is shoot like kind of a, I, I mean, I guess maybe because, maybe because I started back when there is a film. Generally when I'm shooting, I do like kind of what I call sets. So I'm gonna shoot like, I don't know, 15, 20 images like this as we go. And then we take a minute. Well, no, no, not a full minute. And then we take a few seconds to kind of let the person, the subject relax into it. Uh, let me try one more thing. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. I switched to 70 millimeters. Oh yeah. You can actually see here, guys, we're getting just a little bit of flare. It's a, like a micro flare, which I like. So imagine this was like the bright sky behind somebody, right? Nice and simple, same technique. We've got bright behind, kicking back light to fill in. And if you can, having a little bit of dark on the sides helps with the contrast. This is true in the studio, it's true on location, it's just the nature of reflecting light. And just to kind of show you too, um, trying this new space over there from my, uh, my logo. <laughs> this actually has two sides. There's two sides to every reflector. This one's like a more of a flat metal. We'll see what the difference is here. That's a little cleaner, right? So if we look at that versus this, we can see it's kicking back more light, which is making kind of a flatter, cleaner light. I kind of like this more organic one myself, but you know, everybody's got their own. Actually, this one's a little bit nice. You like the second one? Well, so yeah. I knew you were going to, that's why I'm shooting one. Yeah. Shireen always likes the wrong one. <laughs> right. It's flatter. Yeah, it's brighter. Good. It's got a brighter feel to it. Let me do some more with the money. Really project, I want to see. In down, right there, right there. Cool, okay, good. That was it. All right, there we go. Classic. Just like it was shot in the 70s. Fantastic, all right, so let's take a peek. This is where, you know, we treat decides whether she still likes me or not. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at these. So, yeah, she, she already knows how to do it. I don't have to, I don't have to do anything. I will stay, she's like, get out of the way. Stand Hi. back, Dan. Hi. Yeah, I don't need you. And we just want to make sure that she's getting shots that she likes, that if there's something that she wants more of, we can do. We can't do less of, but, yeah. Yeah. It's really simple and clean, right? Which I kind of like, even the, the stuff that's not so much. It's a great, it's a great jumpsuit. It is awesome. I actually have a matching one. We were thinking about having us wear them, but then we thought you. Yeah. yeah. If we did that, these early ones are really, really cool. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Nice. How much do I owe you? Five dollars. All right. All right. So, one last thing, guys. What we might do here, like I actually like this. It has a bit of a rawness to it. But if you want a little bit more pop, what we're likely going to do is jump in. Uh, in post, you know, almost every image you do is gonna require some post. We can just add the slightest bit of contrast to this by bringing our whites up, shake our middles over here, and then bring the darks in. Because remember, we got a little bit of a wash going. So by bringing our darks in, we're gonna get that little extra part of contrast. So you always wanna do a little bit of something um, in the end, but get it as close as you can in camera. That's kind of the key. But yeah, I mean, I started off talking about being outside because clearly I'd love to be outside on a nice sunny day like this. I mean, not that I'm complaining, I get to be in the studio with Shereen. All right, I didn't get myself in trouble there. But anyways, yeah. the reason why I started talking about that though is because I know that I'm starting to think that way, right? I'm heading outside, I'm going to bring reflectors with me, I'm going to shoot. Thinking about reflected light is kind of the first, first signs of spring. You thought it was the groundhog, but the first signs of spring of thinking about reflected light. You're getting poetic. Right? Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people, it's been trendy in the last few years to like go out with these giant octagons and shoot everybody outside very artificially. But really this whole like shooting with the natural light or, or, or bounce light, available light, uh, it can be really nice and very rewarding. I love it. I agree. 
Sharina agrees. All right, so I will put Sharina's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer, and I'll see you next time on set. If you like this video and you want to see more, click here. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV and ring that bell so you don't miss any notifications.